Hello people, I am Jabby Kawei. Right now we're gonna look at Druva, the, the theatrical trailer. Hopefully Jabby can speak English today. All right, so Druva stars Ram Charan and Rakul Preet. I don't know who these actors are, but let's check out the trailer. important goal on the Javadni Kurte Bandamandi criminal Santam Otaro A criminal in an Antanjian. I'm coming. Jesus. Hello, meet my boss. నిర్ణయించేది <laughs> I was kind of just blown away by the visuals that I lost track of the story completely and I had a hard time keeping up with the dialogue because of that. From what I'm gathering, okay, so we have a cop who's, it's kind of like Minority Report where this guy is trying to stop one particular person which will then, as kind of a uh, domino effect, stop a whole bunch of other criminals from existing or being able to commit crimes. I got really caught up in the martial arts and the fight scenes and the stunts. The stunts in particular was just kind of jaw dropping when he was holding him. Even like the one thing, I, like I was wondering why that door was just open and what, the, what was going on there? Why was his door just missing? And then it cuts back to that several seconds later and you see him holding dude on the ground, <laughs> dragging him through the streets. And then there was a moment when I think someone flew off a motorcycle and basically face planted into the ground just like, oh man, some serious gruesome stunts in that in that trailer. Ah, I feel bad for those stunt guys, but definitely some things that you don't see a whole lot. Overall, this looks like a really, really fun film. It's got its really over-the-top action, and yet it still includes these very realistic looking stunts. Hopefully no one got hurt. Uh, you, you've got this larger-than-life bad guy and these set pieces that look like something out of a, you know, a futuristic sci-fi film. I don't actually know what era this is set in. It looks like it's set slightly into the future, given the kind of computers and like the three-dimensional see-through screens that they're working with and whatnot. The main actor, he's got a presence about him and he's built as fuck. <laughs> the guy is doing like pull-ups and you could just see all his fucking muscles. It looks like a, a premise that, you know, is all too familiar. Like this is the kind of premise we've seen a lot, but, it's still like fun action. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I would check this out just because it looks like a fun action film. The story doesn't look, you know, super unique. Like we've seen this story before, but I've seen a, a bajillion martial arts movies with the same plot. Like you killed my master, for, I'm gonna get revenge. That's largely the same plot of every old Kung Fu film. Like you killed my parents or you killed my master. Usually it's the master. And so here the cop has to stop this bad guy who's like the biggest bad guy in the world almost like an Austin Powers plot, but with crazy martial arts scenes and crazy stunts. This looks like a fun event. Like, I would check this out with my buddies. I would check this out with Sintel. It's something where I would probably check my brain at the door because you're not really going there for a gripping story. You're not really going there for a gripping plot. You're going there for just exciting set pieces, exciting action. Much the same way that I would go and watch Fast and the Furious or Triple X. Like, that's what I'm expecting when I go watch Triple X. It's just gonna be popcorn fun. I'm down to check this out. 
if it's uh, playing over here in the theaters. So thanks you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out other reactions, reviews, short films, video game related videos. I'm Jabby Kuei. Peace out.